<laughs> oh look. Oh yeah, we're here. <laughs> Everyone's favorite part. <laughs> what? Everyone's favorite part and the thing that I keep quoting that's Kitty T. <laughs> Well, it's not getting to you, but you keep telling me I'm not him, so... Okay. Oh, because you- oh my god! You- you've seen just a tiny bit of this because you remember- because... You've seen the memes of K- Kata Sicarius. Yeah, that's why I keep quoting it! God damn it, Fable! <laughs> I've only seen this small part, I don't know anything else, I promise. Uh... Oh my. This is the chapter master of the Ultra Reams. Oh uh, that's I think Marius Kelgar is his name. He is the chapter master of the Ultramarines and I'm if I remember <laughs> Yeah, in this he sounds like that. <laughs> if I remember correctly, yeah. all of his arms and legs are, uh, like, cybernetic. Because he lost them while fighting uh. the Tyranids. Oh. Hmm? What? Oh, okay. I was, I was asking Fable, what? Uh, I said probably, given the fact that, uh, given the fact that they fought on the first... Uh, Tyranimor. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, we do, my lord. You'll be given your usual celebratory purities and money by to run into your armor. Please leave. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ultra depression. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he says nothing satisfying because they always win. So no uh. So it's like none of the victories are their own. Oh yeah, the, uh, Fable, this is Uriel Ventris. You remember him? Uh, I think he's one of the captains? Yes, I think he's the captain of the second or third company. Of the third company, okay. I think. Uh, but yeah, Uriel Ventress has an entire book series around him. You remember when we were talking about the Iron Warriors just a little bit ago? He is the main yeah. character from the book series where that comes from. Oh, interesting. In my old book, you must have learned about our latest success. Honestly, I have seen you in better days. Oh, yeah. Oh, this year, I must let down a certain good start in the paradise world. <laughs> You get that line, Fable. Yeah. <laughs> for those that, for you, since you don't know Chrono, a Death Corps Kriegsman is always willing to die for the Emperor in glorious battle. So them being oh. on the Paradise World is the worst thing for them possible. Oh great. <laughs> they love yeah, being in battle. Yeah, because 40k has something called the Paradise World, which, like the name implies is like basically where the rich and fancy people live and nothing bad happens there the worst thing that could probably happen is the fact that the waiter didn't give you the right tree i wish yeah. i was kidding pretty much Yes, Chrono, he does talk for that for 
talk like that for the rest of the series. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Let's just cut the Sakari. It's the, as you said before, the captain of the second company who has done some believable, unbelievable bullshit, even in the books. Yeah, he's a giant meme and I love him. Only because of his meme status. I think, I think when the writer who everyone absolutely hates took over, they were like, yeah, you need to stop. Please stop this. And it only got worse. I just, I, <laughs> I just hate him. I guess. Impossible, but not bad. Not bad? Excuse me, but you must mean that it is one of the greatest deeds. <laughs> oh my god. And it was thanks to I, Captain Sicarius, because that is what it is. <laughs> They're <laughs> fucking. Not even the ultra. The other ultramarines like Captain Sicarius. But the English knows your right is not to mind that I, Captain Sicarius, should be a rightful heir as the new chapter master. <laughs> Kata Sicarius, yes. He's fucking. I love him. So stupid. But did you don't take into account all the risk you put your company through by accepting this mission? Alone. Alone. With no backup. Yes, they did this with alone. A company is usually like a hundred marines, if I remember correctly. And that's all there is. Well then. Yeah, Fable. Yeah, it's it's about a hundred, give or take. Or so accepting that absurd order about going through the Eye of Terror without your gun up field on! So the death of others is but a small price to pay as they fall performing their duties in order to achieve glory with the interests of the best ultimary captain, which of course is I, Captain Sicarius. Motherfucker. <laughs> Literally said, as long as I make things better for myself. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't but understand how other. Is, oh, go ahead. The thing is, to my understanding, in the current lore, Captain Sicarius is apparently one of Gilliman's uh, bodyguards. So he's like essentially given a promotion to be one of his bodyguards. <sighs> That's fun. Not really mm. for anyone that hates the character for obvious reasons, but yeah. Uh, at least Gilliman has to hear one of his most annoying sons all the time. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> yes, and even Gilliman finds him annoying. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't blame him. Gilliman is probably uh, probably he's been incredibly depressed the entire time he's woken up because at one point he was stuck in just power armor. And here's the thing you need to know, Chrono. He is mostly a statesman. Yeah. Not a fighter. Oh. So when he's trying to write down an Imperial Decree the, with his, like, power suit on, the pencil just breaks. Oh, and he's wow. like, oh, well then. The, the funny thing is, though, there's actually a uh, story where Gilliman makes a joke essentially saying, uh, like, a piece of paper or a pen falls off of his desk or something, and he's just like, you truly are the greatest enemy I've ever had or something like that. <laughs> And, and his uh, and one of his guards was looking at him. He's just like, he's like, was that a joke, sir? He's like, yes, I ma he's like records of me being uh, records of me making jokes might have not been a thing, but I was known to make some. He just looked at him like, are you sure? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know I, I didn't say it properly, but it's essentially like that. It's really funny. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Gilliman has become more down to earth than some people would expect, especially the Ultramarines. They did not expect their Primarch to be like this. 
Oh yeah, he would. He just sits on the <laughs> on the chapter master's throne. Oh wow. Well, you see, Augustus, I think I've started noticing a certain theme in our chapter. But yes, you just met the chapter master, the captain of the second and third company of the Ultramarines. Uh. Center of the sun, fire and flame, we are one. They are, uh, I don't really like the Ultramarines even if they have... Well, actually, no, I should say I like Captain Titus, but uh, outside of that, I don't really like the Ultramarines. No, we're just trying to pull my strings. You're trying to soften me up so you can steal my powers back or spank me or something. <laughs> spank me or something. So I wouldn't even be able to touch it anymore, Magnus. I still don't trust you. Well, they fucking do. Shall I reclaim your soul from each to prove that I'm not playing you for a fucking... Oh yeah, when uh, the certain Primarchs ga uh, gave themselves over to certain Chaos Gods, they literally took their souls. Oh. Uh, for Fulgrim, it wasn't really Fulgrim in general who was possessed, so Slanesh just kind of threw his soul away. So yeah. People who love the Ultimate. Not too much clout. Well, yeah, you, everyone knows the Ultramarines have too much clout because they were involved in everything. Or maybe you'd rather want them to talk about some Wunga Wunga Warp Space Horseship. <laughs> okay, get ready for this fable. Oh, no. Get ready and frickin' watch him. Greetings, abominable demon of the war. You wouldn't mind <laughs> oh, my, my son Magnus the Red from your disgusting and written hands, would you? Oh my, isn't it the Adenimo coming for a visit? Too yeah, bad he didn't long. prepare some snacks. Oh, maybe I did? But I get chance that I ate them myself. But alas, how do we know snacks even exist in the first place? Or if they're even any good? Perhaps they are all just figments of imagination. Oh, also, what are you doing here? <sighs> You're as much of an overthinker as ever. Oh, oh, he oh, overthinks. Oh, oh. Zeech overthinks literally everything. There's literally a meme that he comes up with so many plans, even he doesn't know which one is working. It's too simple to comprehend some simple pondering? But that does make one wonder. What could he really comprehend? Does comprehension even exist? Hmm? We, sitting here in a dimension of thoughts produced by a countless number of minds throughout time, expressing our feelings through simple stands. Okay, here we go. Understanding each other's motives. God damn it, Chief. Zeech. This is really happening. Yes, maybe. One thing I am sure of. The only thing I can believe in without a shadow of a What is it? Is. They use my I don't have time for your horrid games, Warpstar. Give me the sword. Oh no, my god. Absolutely, positively, impossibly, no. <laughs> You're ready. Ready? Ready, Fable? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, he's like poking him in his eye. Alright, you atrocious feet. I'll be going. Yeah. And now Magnus has a soul back. <laughs> what? What just happened? Yeah. I just reclaimed your soul from that fuck siege, and holy mother of myself was it straining. It was oh, like yeah. a constant concentrated fuck shit cramp in my brain. You literally what? just poked him until he gave him the soul back. And yes, he does have such powers. Hmm? What is it, Fable? Just said, oh my god. <laughs> Many fragments of my drifting soul and psyche as possible to manifest myself within the warp so I could hit scene to the face and take your soul back. My soul is back? No. That's impossible. Perhaps 
absolutely impossible. Luckily, I'm a motherfucking emperor, so I could do that shit. Unfortunately, I felt myself Oof. up at least a hundred times Oof. after pulling that stunt. That sounds you painful. I'm grateful you featherhead. Featherhead. Are you sure you're all right? You know that awful pain you feel when you stuck your dick on the wall. It's like that. Uh, I've died about 500 times and all over it. Yeah, I know that feeling. No, my pain. I've. I know that pain all too well. Know my pain, Chrono. I still have the power right, that shifty asshole can't get to you or your pounders. I'll make you stub your toe every time you move. It's too bright. Golden and watery in those days. <laughs> so mean, man. <laughs> every time Chrono walks, he will stub his toe on something. Oh my god. That's ah. I curse you with the stub ah. toe. Anyway. So yes, do you trust me yet? He's basically what he said. So yes, do you trust me yet? That, uh, I, I mean, you went pretty far for him just now. Incredibly convenient. Well, if I'm going to be completely honest, I expected you to put up more of a fight and attempt to summon like a movie <laughs> to this place. <laughs> However, it seems I was capable of convincing you without a shred of solid evidence <laughs> that your downfall wasn't my fault and make you cry in the process. <laughs> Charming fellow. <laughs> I'm a very oh charming God. fellow. I mean, he's not wrong. He is. He's incredibly charming, and some of his kids inherited that. To recognize that smarminess of yours, I guess you are being honest after all. But, but father, why would you ever even do this? How do you know I will not attempt to escape? How do you know I will not turn back to Zeke, gather my warriors, and annihilate you? I've been with them for millennia. And now you think you can just come and take me back? I'm certain you wouldn't want to go back to praising a filthy demon. That I mean, yeah. You were sold to his I wouldn't. Your loyal warriors into nothing oh, them. yeah! I forgot to talk about this. Do you want to talk about Fable or should I? Uh, talk about what? Uh, the thing that Aramon did. Oh, uh, yes. So, I don't remember exactly his rank, but essentially... Aramin, uh tried to. I think he tried to help uh, ba his legion. Uh, basically, uh, uh, Chrono, do you remember when we talked about that warp thing that happens to them, to the Thousand Sons? Well, it came back a second time, and uh, Magnus kind of did the same thing the Emperor did and didn't tell his sons what he was doing when he was actually trying to find a way to fix it. So one of his captains, Aramin, went off on his own to. Uh, try and fix the problem. Hmm. So the, the thing about the Thousand Legion Warband is that they literally have no bodies. They are uh, living suits of armor that are constantly moving. Aramin wants to fix it and he's just like he's just like, I'm gonna find a way to break your hold over us, Zinch. Zinch thought, ah, that's funny. Go for it. And basically, he's like trying to find something called the Black Library or enter it, but because it's started by the Eldar, they're like, "No, you're not allowed." But he's like, "No, I'm gonna get in there somehow." Uh, That's his whole deal: is he's trying to find a way to cure his people. Yeah, it's, it's not working. Yeah, basically, what originally happened when he was trying to find a cure for the well, he the made warp. It worse. Yeah, he made it worse <laughs> by using an Eldar artifact that he didn't understand and turned ninety percent of the Legion to dust. Yeah, that's why that's why I say that they're living um that they're living armor. They're literally they living, living souls armor. just inside the armor. Yes. Oh, and he's trying to fix his mistake and that's why he needs to go to the Black Library, but like I but, said, it's guarded by the um Eldar, which mm. he's it's also extremely into. hard to find. It's somewhere in the webway. But yeah. yeah. It's also the problem of it has this uh what I was gonna say is after he did this, Magnus was going to kill him, but Zeech stopped him and said this was interesting enough that he forced Magnus to let Armin live, so he just banished him. Yeah, the thing is, uh, he literally has, I think he literally told Zeech that he's gonna find a way to fix this mess, and Zeech just thinks it's funny, so he lets him do whatever he wants. Pretty Even much. Even though at this point, I'm pretty sure he's just like, no, I'm gonna stop you a thousand times, just stupid. Pretty much. What? How did you know about that? I huh. perceived it. It's pretty much it's like father like son effect. I've spent sitting on this throne. I've gotten a lot of warpish shenanigans <laughs> revealed to me. 
especially the shit that the gods of chaos have been doing. You never know oh, yeah. how disgusting they often they post about shit like that on Spacebook. Spacebook. Oh my god. <laughs> Grandpapa nerds. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate him. Ish me. Oh my god, Ish is there too. Uh, <laughs> Ish is the Eldar god of life that when Slanesh was born into the world uh, was kidnapped by Nurgle considering he is also technically a god of life. And what Nurgle does is just... Uh, Tests all of his diseases and whatnot on her. So yeah, I bet Ish wishes she was dead. Am I correct? The thing about her though also is uh a lot of people who actually like the Eldar hate the fact that what they're doing to her in uh 40k. Cause she literally has no story besides being trapped in the garden. But apparently in fantasy she had such an interesting development, people are like I don't know how to feel about this. It's why some people like fantasy better, because it's a lot more hopeful than 40k. Especially for the Eldar, or for the elves over there. Yeah, but then, but then GW messed it up with the age of, with the, um... Uh, the end, end time. times. Yeah. And, and then they just said, uh, Sigmar's literally, uh, Sigmarines. It's so stupid. It's, it's very stupid. I hate Age of Sigmar. Especially for the design of the Stormcast Eternals. They have a cool design though, but honestly, I kind of wish they didn't exist. I don't like their design at all because it's just reverse space marines, and also they don't look like cool ass knights. Instead, they all look like Belvazar Gelt. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh my fucking lord, Slanesh! <laughs> I hate her so much. Oh, bother. Not this horrid wench again. Nurgle, dear, could you throw all diseases you've ever cooked up at this irredeemable penetration addict? Oh, dear God! Oh, I, I like the, I'm horny, are you horny? <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking horn. I hate it all. Oh my god, those are the those are the orc gods, Gork and Mork, brutally oh cunning. Oh my god! <laughs> and they're talking as orcs do. Boys, how do you use the into wolf? The Zorgan into wolf. They're literally they're literally blue and yellow and they're literally the aspect of cunningly cunningly brutal and brutally cunning. Yeah. And the reason they're blue yes. and yellow is because blue and yellow makes green, and that's what color orcs are. Uh, okay, Malice and Wonderland. Do you remember Malau, Fable? Uh, not really. Malau was supposed to be the fifth Chaos God that came into being, but due to some copyright issues that he never became a thing. Oh, yeah, now I remember him. <laughs> Citizen's Klein. Citizen's Klein. Citizen Kane. Uh, because it's supposed to, That's the Eldar god Kane, who was shattered oh. into pieces. <laughs> Sorry, the kids these days. Kids these days. He's, uh, he's the Eldar god of war. Case, you must be aware uh, of the festering edifice that your Imperium has become, right? So far, barely. The custodian over there has been informing me about the latest happening in the material realm, especially about the Imperium. So far, I'm pretty fucking nice. <laughs> I'm helping. about the remarkably horrible things that have been happening if you've been watching over the Imperium all this time like your oh-so-loyal lapdogs would have us believe. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I do know. Whoa, what was that? Not. After 10,000 years of I don't know I why that my PC that freaks out glitch? sometimes. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the video or my PC, but... 
Uh, sometimes I hate this PC. I need to get a newer one. Keep it brief. That but I don't have the money for that. No anymore. Parts of my mind are scattered all across the world, taking on their own separate existences, but yet being connected to one another. Individual accounts of knowledge and personality thrown all about like leaves in the wind. I'm but a fragment of a being that you knew ten millennia ago. Yeah. I'm bound to this throne, like an anchor preventing the remains of myself from forever disappearing into the immaterial. That's why the custodian has been of great aid in updating me about current hmm. events, because he knows a shitload of stuff for some reason. For well, some reason. Why am I here? What do you intend of me? In due time, it's I true, will tell you. It does know you stuff for some reason. That yeah. That idiotic reasoning was what led to the horse heresy to begin with. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, besides, you are not one to talk. Yeah. But that's also the same idiotic reasoning that turned 90% of your legion into a pile of dust. Like fucking fuck, like fucking son. He is exactly right on that. <laughs> but I had it makes. It... <laughs> but I presume you know all about how that feels, don't you? It makes Magus look like such a hypocrite, also. I suppose you were right in that sense. Come to think of it, just witnessing how my first captain. Oh yeah, Arrowman was his first captain. This is all too ironic for my taste. So where is that first captain? Of yours now. Is he still alive? Honestly, I wanted to kill that fool after he casted the so called rubric of Oramen that turned my marines into dust. But I got fucked over by Zinch again, telling yeah. him he didn't want me to ruin his new toys. So instead, I banished him. Hold the fuck up. Banished him? After doing that shit to your disciples? After he has shown countless times that his personal interests are more important to him than your orders? Yeah. What can I do? I mean, you pretty, you probably could have. <laughs> have you ever considered the consequences of letting him go? What with being the first captain and really big into stupid war, he should, I'm sure, he'll get his hands on an army of his yeah. own uses for evil, mischievous cartoon villain schemes. It's cartoon fine, villain honestly. schemes. Knowing that loser, he probably isn't doing shit right now. Guess who where he is? Oh god. Yeah. This is Aramon. Just to make that clear. He's the guy that turned everybody to dust. He turned 90% of them to dust, yes. Okay. The Black Library. We haven't described what the Black Library is, but it holds all of the knowledge of everything the Eldar have in terms of tech and everything, really. Oh shit. Yeah. So it is a giant wealth of knowledge. The problem is, well, you'll see. It has taken eons, and the murdering of countless Zelda. But finally, yeah. all my hard work will pay off. <laughs> all the secrets of the universe are mine. A flick of a page. I mean, pretty much the Elder were the masters of the universe, so it, he, what he says does make sense. Way, and I will finally understand the true nature of the gods. Perhaps even become one of them. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I can't lie anymore. This is getting me so excited I could use my dick as a <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. That's not a thing. Space Marines can't use their weenies. I... I'm not even kidding. That's an actual thing in lore. Oh my god. Yes, because they don't want them to be able to reproduce anyway. As I said before, so is the... Is this the Laughing God? Yes, this is Kigarak, the Eldar Laughing God. He actually has... He was smart enough, unlike the rest of the Elder Guards, to hide in the webway when Slanesh was born, and actually has a legion of followers that are called the Jesters. Ah, makes sense, because he looks like a Jester. Yeah, the Eldar Laughing God is, uh... He, he apparently, it's said that he guards the Black Library. Oh. Yeah, also, he literally has his own, like, uh, unit of Eldar known as the Harlequin. Yeah, the Harlequins. Uh, yeah, Harlequins. Yeah, they're essentially like the elite version of the Eldar. 
okay. it's also kind of stupid because apparently they do a lot of stupid crap like, hey, here we have a plan. No, we're not going to tell you about it. You know that one dude we killed? Yeah, there's a reason for that. We're not going to tell you why. It just made sense to us. You're welcome. It's because uh, Keg yeah. Kegrok is not only the Eldor Laughing God, he's a trickster god as well. Yeah, but the problem god. Is, I hate it because he literally, his literal plans are, I'm gonna, I'm going to send you to kill the governor of this, of this, um, planet, because I, I because in like that. a couple years he's gonna become chaos worshiper, so we're gonna save a bunch of Eldar. No, we don't care if it completely destroys the planet because it's for the Eldar's good. It's like, <clears> you guys yeah. are stupid. The I really hate you. Yeah, Harlequins are a bit weird, but yeah. They're stupid. <laughs> it makes no sense. I so would... to me, it seems like they're like, oh, we're going to go kill this guy. No, we're not going to tell you exactly why, but this... Pretty is much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I, will, I will say this, that I, they are one of the best warriors. They are the best warriors that the Eldar have, but the only one above them would be... I forget what they're called, the Manifestations of Cain. Oh. Of uh, their war god. But yeah. It would seem that the laughing god of the pitiful fallen Eldar has come to try and stop me. Oh, I never noticed that. Oh, he's moving his hand every time he talks. Mm -hmm. Exactly what should be done at a time like this. Rubrics, laugh with me. <laughs> Dust muffled, coughing, laughing. <laughs> oh well, for being a laughing god, you truly are laughable. But yeah, apparently, the, most of the times the Eldar do, or the Harlequins do get, get just destroyed in battle. How do you plan to stop me? That's not because, that, uh, and that's not because the Eldar are bad or the Harlequin are bad. It's just because GW absolutely hates anything that's not the Imperium. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not even kidding. They they, they literally hate the they hate anything to the point where the Eldar haven't gotten any book in oh. like a couple years. And the last time they did get something, it ended in disaster. Yeah, I I just remembered what uh, Common was saying. Yeah, the toughest warrior that they have is the Avatar of Cain, which is only summoned when they sacrifice an Eldar to summon it. But but they usually get but. yeah. Let me put it this way, uh, Chrono, an avatar of Cain, the strongest warrior the Eldar have to offer, was beaten by the <laughs> Grand, uh, the Chapter Master of the Ultramarines. Okay. They've been beaten by a lot of things. They get clapped usually. But yeah, did you hear what they said? What? Your library card. You can't stay within these walls unless you have library. Is that it? Of course, I have one. One second, <laughs> He's actually looking for a library card. sure everything here my rules on. Put it right under my cauldron? No. I swear, I plan for everything. It must be here somewhere. You don't have it. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Alright, it seems like I've lost it, but look. I can just... Pay for a subscription. We don't tax subscriptions directly anymore. You have to subscribe on a web website. Subscribe on a web website? Okay, I mean, I guess I can do that while I'm here. Do you have a spare terminal like a. I'm so. Wait a minute. You're just fucking with me now, aren't you? <laughs> I'm the one who's supposed to be doing the fucking with here. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, cause that's gonna work. Much. It sounds like every brick balancing fucking teenage riddle chaos fanboy trying to start his own edgy war. Oh my god. Nevertheless, you have not answered me yet. 
I wasn't expecting that, that, but okay. Shut your fucking war print, and I will tell you. I have brought you here, as I intend to reshape the Imperium from top to bottom once more. I intend to bring back all my sons, and I intend to reclaim the galaxy for them. That is a crazy thought of bringing back all of his sons. I intend to heal all wounds and have no shrouds cover up the I think, uh, I don't think Ferris Manus, uh, Sanguinius, and Horus are coming back. All shall be at peace well, actually, and uh, apparently there is a little piece of lore that says... The Emperor and Malkador could have brought Ferris Manus back if they had enough time to recreate him a body. Oh. However, due to the heresy, it was kind of impossible because they didn't have enough time for that. For those that Sanguinius don't know... Sanguinius might be a bit harder, though. Yeah, Sanguinius got killed by Horus. Uh, Ferris Manus only got his head chopped off. As for Horus, his soul was literally obliterated. Yeah. I don't think he's coming back at all. L literally... At all, at all. Literally, when the Emperor got the chance when fighting Horus Chrono, he literally murdered the hell out of him so hard that he obliterated his soul so hard that it killed the clone of Horus as well. Hmm. Because you, you actually can't clone Primarchs. There's apparently something, every time uh, Thaddeus Bile tries to clone them, they just die immediately. Oh, wow. He, he actually did succeed when he cloned uh, Fulgrim, which but is that... affectionately known as Clonegrim. Yeah, it, Too but... Too bad the writer doesn't do anything with that. Yeah, he's just stuck in fucking Trays in the Immortals uh, museum right now. But the only reason he's alive, and you know this fable, is because of that piece that I said that, uh, you know, Slash threw it, his soul away. That ended up in Clonegrim. Yeah, too bad. The only, too bad if they really wanted to, they could bring back Fulgrim, an actual loyalist version of him, and do something with it. I but want them to do something instead, with Fulgrim. They don't want to. I want them to, then they won't, and, and I hate it because I like Fulgrim because he is interesting and had depth as a character. That is yeah, he well, could grow. He has I potential say, to grow more. An yeah, and two of his brothers are already doing something, so it wouldn't be too out of character. As much reluctance as I feel. And plus, it's not like it's. And plus, it's not like anyone actually plays this. Uh, the children of the emperor. They're not even really a faction anymore. Yep, they're just smaller versions of war. Most excellent. The noise marines. Now, yeah. The bonding procedure begins. Or whatever the fuck Thaddeus Bile is doing now. And we're not even gonna talk about Lucius the Immortal because I hate Lucius the Immortal. Magnus, I have a present for you. A present? Yes, a present. Oh, he's giving Bring Magnus you. a present. Oh my god. Yeah. It's a bike. It's a bike? Wow. <laughs> it's your first bike, my son. Oh my god. Wow, I, I never heard one before. No. I was always inside reading my books, but every time Jack and I rode his, I always thought he looked really cool. <laughs> now it's your turn to look cool. Oh Magnus. my god. Yeah. Take a ride around the Imperial Palace. Okay. Thanks, Don't forget to wear a helmet. Of course not, Father. Oh. He's wearing an actual helmet. He's wearing a biking helmet. Special. So, uh, what the hell? Tell me whatever happened to the salamanders. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about Vulcan next. That's kind of random, but um, I'm pretty sure after dying a shitload of times, he decided to suddenly disappear. It is said amongst the salamanders that he hid nine different artifacts across the galaxy before vanishing. This is actually a thing that did happen. He was just so upset after the Horus Heresy that he kind of left and told them to find his nine items that, and that he would return when they did. Oh, which, okay. which is sad because Vulcan is one of the nicest guys out of all of the Primarchs. Didn't they... I could be wrong, but didn't they change it to make it so Vulcan died during the events of the War of the Beast? He might have, but you. He might have, but you know it's Vulcan. Yeah, he, he's out of he all. Out of all the Primarchs, he's the one that can come that can come back from pretty much anything because that's his ability. Yeah. Let uh, me put one thing though. I do think it's kind of funny is in this series, the freaking creator literally brought back Magnus and made it make sense, and GW can't do that for fucking twenty years. 
I know. 20 plus years. It's so stupid. Let me put it this way, Crudo. Uh, Vulcan came back after literally being dropped from... Uh, he basically came back from dying from re-entry onto the planet of Ultramar. Okay. He, he's a pri he's a prime... Uh, what do you call it? Primarch. <laughs> no, not a prime. The other thing. The thing that the Emperor is. I forgot what it's called. I said it earlier. I'm not sure, but yeah, but Vulcan is a nice guy. I honestly believe that he would hug people. For being such an uncomfortably friendly person, he can sure pull some complete assery of Like, if you meet the Salamanders, you literally have the best chance of surviving an attack from any kind of Xenos or anything, because they will literally do their damnness to help you and make sure you survive. All right, we'll do it like this. Send a message to the oh, yeah, Romans and tell them to find the remaining artifacts and plant them near the salamanders. What? Are you oh. sure? I mean, the salamanders have dedicated their lives to find these artifacts, and they are a bitch to find. Moreover, in the event that the Ultramarines do find Vulcan's artifacts, the salamanders will be outraged by it. It would probably lead to a huge loss of morale and unleash some majorly repressed anger. Yeah, that's possible. You might even both the chapter master and all of them. Against the Imperium. Are you really sure that's the right thing to do? Just tell the Alpha <laughs> to do it with utmost stealth so they Sneaky. Are Besides, better make use of those fucking smurfs since they want to prove themselves. My reason says fuck no. Get rid of that blue block and <laughs> Mammy Fecal Matter. But my intuition pain. says send them to do shit and stuff will go forward. I will go with the latter. Because I have like prophetic powers and stuff. So I have like prophetic powers and stuff. Oh. That's my boy. Just wait <laughs> until you get to meet my center. Woo! Lego Mega! Oh my gosh. And he said he's getting him a centurion. Mac. Why well, does he get a centurion and you won't give me one? I'm not <laughs> getting you a centurion. <laughs> Give me a centurion, whether you like it or not. Oh no. Oh yeah, this part. Why do you want me to give you a centurion? Just put one in your legion or something. It's because I think they're cool. Why do you think they're cool? I don't know, I just think they're cool. I don't think oh, yeah. you have any other legion other than that. Oh. Was your visit to the Black Lives <laughs> successful? Wasn't you useless rotten pile of disgraceful wolf infested pubic hair? I was this close. This yeah, he's close. very pissed. After all this time and effort I put into this, yeah. I can't believe that there was even a tiny detail. I was sure I found yeah. everything out, and now we're back to fucking square one. Oh. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm <laughs> sick of this for the time being. Why don't we all just go to some beach or slanishy pub somewhere and just uh. get a drink or something? <laughs> somewhere where there should be ladies. Real ladies with boobs and dicks. Um, it's supposed to say you're not dicks. <laughs> because, uh... You know Slanesh is the Chaos God of Excess. Yes, Excess and everything. But specifically Lust. Yeah. That's great. It's quite literally kind of... It, it's... I don't even want to talk about the followers of Slanesh. I, 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 uh, I don't wanna. I just don't wanna. Makes you think that you have the right to voice your shoddy little opinion you don't have to talk to us for this if you don't want to. I don't want we're to. Gonna run in, we're gonna run into her followers later. you in the first place. And additionally, if I want to take a fucking vacation, I will take one when and wherever the fuck I please. And you will crawl behind. <laughs> Tyrant's ass! But Master, the War Master has summoned you for what he calls an important...
I don't know who the War Master is. I don't remember exactly. Abaddon the Destroyer. Oh, it's Abaddon again? It's him. Yeah, Abaddon's still up in the uh, War Master. Ah, uh, yeah, I forget that's his title sometimes. Chaotic Clearing of the Throat. He's really unimportant, it honestly doesn't matter. I told them about Abaddon the Destroyer. I just put the slide saying Abaddon the Loser. That, that pretty much sums it up. And I explained exactly why he's called the loser. Thirteen times just to get past the first planet. Me, what did he yeah. say? Maybe if you were less of an egocentric dick, you would do it all to the face. <laughs> <laughs> do ball to the face. He's the Kyle, you motherfucker. I don't know who Isakyle is. Let's see Maybe. what you have to the what? I don't know who that is either. Maybe it's another name for Abaddon? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's actually his full name. Probably. But yeah, how are you guys liking the series so far? It's freaking awesome. <laughs> I just feel like you just like Kata Sicarius. <laughs> I worry for Mori now if you start using him. Funny. Oh, what are you saying? I just think it's all funny. Mori's making sounds again. I'm not sure what she's saying. What do you mean noises? All I hear was whoa! What do you want from me? <laughs> what was the word? <laughs> 